What's going up everybody? This is Jeff Volkman Buzz. So it happened. I mean, this is crazy. I was just talking about this earlier, but Ripple just passed Ethereum. For the first time, one, two, and three now looks different. For the longest time, it's been Bitcoin, Ethereum. Now Ripple has actually passed Ethereum as the number two cryptocurrency in market cap. I'll even update it right now to see if it's still holding. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, is Ethereum going to catch up or is Ripple going to just keep glazing past? Now, <laughs> it's funny because earlier I was bringing this up. Look at this was my video from earlier today. When I was talking about market cap, I said I wouldn't be surprised if Ripple passes Ethereum. And, you know, it was sitting at $55 billion, which was kind of a long shot, but check it out. Not. And it's possible they could even pass Ethereum here very quickly. And so. The question is, how high can Ripple go? Well, I, I don't see why it's not realistic to assume that um, Ripple will not reach this market cap, okay? So if it reaches the Bitcoin market cap, it will see. So I was talking about <laughs> Ripple passing Ethereum, and I thought it was, uh, I didn't think it was going to happen the same day, but it did. So that's just kind of funny because I, I, I had a sense, I had a hunch that it was going to do that, but, you know, that was more luck than anything. Um, but yeah, that is, it's kind of amazing. Um, if we take a look at where the money's coming from for Ripple, it's coming, it's coming straight out of Korean won, man. This is coming straight out of Asia. Asia is super bullish on Ripple. A lot of you guys are asking if it's time to jump into Ripple. I can't answer that right now. I don't know what's going on. I would say that, yeah, I mean, I, I put out that video you saw, I said, it could easily hit five to ten dollars in 2018 and um you know it's soaring it's just absolutely soaring but a lot of people they don't like uh that see a lot of americans and stuff they don't like well not just americans but uh libertarians i guess you could say they don't really like um ripple because they consider it centralized it's uh backed by the bank of england and people say well if you back Ripple, then you miss the whole point of uh, cryptocurrency and decentralization. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I look at that. There's there's a there's a person or an individual behind every project. If you look at Verge, there's there's a team of developers or one developer behind Verge. If you look at Litecoin, there's a developer behind Litecoin. If you look at Ripple, there's a developer behind um, Ripple. There's a developer behind Ethereum. There's there, it's it, for me the whole decentralization thing is great, and I get it. Smart contracts, ERC twenty tokens, you know, exec, executing uh, protocol or executing written in code. I get it. It's cool, but to say it's decentralized, it's really kind of not. The only one that's really been decentralized truly is Bitcoin, and the other ones have people behind it. I mean, who do you think puts up these websites? There's not Bitcoin core is even kind of centralized, but no one knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is. But at the end of the day, that's even centralized. So like to, to come down on Ripple, I see the utility in Ripple in a different, I, I have a different look at Ripple. I look at Ripple as a legitimize as legitimizing blockchains efficiency for bigger and better things to come. Um, and, and realistically, uh, I mean, I have to take a, a realistic position at it. I mean, if I, if I lie to myself or deceive myself, what good is that going to do me as an investor or as a technology, anything, right? So the truth is Ripple's utility is there and it's efficient. And that's why it's paying off for a lot of people who've invested in the Ripple project. Um, it, I mean, just because it works with banks doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I think it's actually uh, opening opening doors for us, really. Uh, I'm not saying that it's the that every cryptocurrency has to go in that way, but someone has to go out and you know reach their hand out and like basically shake hands with the fiat guys to make friends with them, so that over time cryptocurrency will will overtake or blockchain will overtake the fiat the fiat. Uh, dominance, which may take 20 to 30 or 40, 50 years, who knows, but that's more than likely what will occur. 
for the, in the short term, fiat will still make up like 90 to 80 percent of the global forex, but cryptocurrency could chip away at that in time. But Ripple um, also improving global transaction times it, securely is, is really important. It'd be interesting to find out if there's another project just like Ripple in the works. So Ripple might be the number one, but what if there's another project being cooked up that could dethrone even Ripple? Maybe Ripple's not the only one, right? And so as investors, we should be on the lookout for the next Ripple that we could get in. Because you could have got into Ripple, what, let's see, if you just look here at the year to date, you could have got into Ripple at less than a penny. Less than a penny, you could have gotten into Ripple. Okay. $72 billion market cap. Let's see if it's still riding high. Yep, probably is. Ooh, here comes Ethereum. Ethereum's like, no, you're not going to take second place from me. Maybe this will just be a flash in the pan, but either way, to go from $55 billion market cap to $72 billion market cap is huge. Ripple's on the run, guys. And like I said, I made that video earlier talking about it being 5 to $10. I, I wasn't joking around. Um, so... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at some picture, or uh, well, that's a cool picture, but I'm going to take a look at some uh, feedback here on our Twitter, allcoinbuzz.io, and getting in the habit of responding to a lot of these tweeter, Twitter uh, comments because Twitter is obviously amazing. CLX is mooning to Colossus Coin XT. Yeah, that's a... Uh, it's a heck of a project. Let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, it is. Who said this? Crypto Freak. Where's the P on that? <laughs> Altcoin Buzz IO. Random question, curiosity question. Do you stake your long-term positions? What are your thoughts on staking? Is it worth the time to download and sync? I think we'll need a whole video for that, but that's a great question. Dent, let's go. Yes. What's Dent looking like? Okay. Guys, it's okay with Dent. I mean, this is a buying opportunity with Dent. If you're trying to get into Dent, it's on a dip. It's on the dip. Remember, we buy the dip. So, I mean, it, it'll find resistance here at 1.5 cents. If it breezes past that resistance, it'll find resistance down here. It's still a new coin, though. I mean, it's only a month old. You got to give this thing some time. Wouldn't it have been lovely to get in under a penny, though? Man, if you guys can get this under a penny. I, I bought in about around here, but I wouldn't be sad if it uh, went below a penny again because I would just load up on this thing. I'm not even joking. I'd be so stoked if this thing goes below a penny. Because I, and that's, see, that, that's just the level of uh, experience that I have with this. When things go low, I buy more. Because once I'm already convinced that the tech is there and that I like the project, then it's all good if it goes low. So, let's see what else you guys are saying. This is a pump and dump, super easy to manipulate the price. Which, what, what's a pump and dump? Okay. Super easy to manipulate the price. Only one exchange and volume is extremely low. Basically, someone, not even a whale, is manipulating the price. Funny how you tweeted this minutes after it got pumped. Oh, funny, yeah, okay. I literally have a thousand of these. Sorry that tweet has been deleted. What? Let me see here. Yeah, it pulled back. That's weird. Let me take a look. 18 cents. Actually, when it, um, I bought in at 10 cents, and then I bought more when it went down to 17 cents. But I have not sold anything. And if you guys want proof, I can show you my order history so that the accusations will finally stop. Because accusations are being thrown around very easily. 
and this is a oh same person okay I have no see if you guys watched the video that I made three videos ago someone several people were asking about social sin and I made a video about it now I'm being told by this guy who's throwing around accusations that it's a pump and dump wait not that guy this guy quirk anyways it doesn't bother me because I don't have anything to be I don't have a guilty conscience can you take a look at bond pay seems to boom soon very low at the moment what is this revolution news um, recently covered Quantstam giving a fantastic review nice Steve did that one so good job to Steve can you mine wax that I do not know this guy really likes COLX. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. About this uh, social send, I, I, I was thrown off about how it, it went up to twenty five cents. Then, like literally after I made the, after I posted the tweet, it did pull back. Like it sold off. Like definitely a sell off right there. And then someone pumped it again and now it's sold off again so it's weird but when it started to go to 25 cents i was like dude i started thinking about it. i was like five million dollars no it was at a six million dollar market cap i was like it's only a six million dollar market cap that thing's got a lot of room to grow so i was like should i buy more and then um i was <laughs> i had to exchange some of my positions on uh, another exchange and send it over to cryptopia right and I was waiting for it to arrive and by the time I waited for it to arrive it got to 17 cents and I was like oh dude I gotta buy more at 17 cents but I still I still hold the stuff that I this the position that I bought at 10 cents and then I bought again around about 17 cents for real and I can even show you all the order history on that but that would be unnecessary but if you guys want, really wanted to accuse me of things falsely I'll gladly prove you wrong <laughs> I mean that that it's it's accusations like that that make this job um, not as fun as it should be but if I was doing shady stuff you know then it's a big deal but I, I don't have that kind of pump and dump power and well maybe 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 there is a big community watching this I don't know but if you watch the video you'll see someone asked the question and you guys ask the questions because you guys want the recommendation. You guys want the recognition for the coin. So it's just sour attitudes like that that, you know, make cryptocurrency kind of difficult. But I guess if I bought high and then I watched it pull back, I can understand, especially if I was a newbie. Which, like I was telling you on that, uh, on that other cryptocurrency, which one was it? Uh, we just talked about it. Oh, Dent. See, I don't get sour like that. Like, if I buy at three cents, two two point nine cents, whatever, I don't get sour. I told you guys, if it pulls back down to here, I'll be happy. I get stoked when it pulls back. Some people get freaked out. It's like, what? Well, you shouldn't have jumped into the coin <laughs> if you didn't already agree with the project being solid. That's my take on it. Like, don't jump into projects that you don't believe in because then you panic and freak out the whole time. Like for me, I'm like waiting for this thing to pull back so I can buy more of these at a better at a better rate, and that's just the truth. If it goes up, then it goes up. I already got my position, but I don't have a problem with taking out more on this. I don't even remember where I get it. Where do you get this? Oh, CoinRail, KuCoin, HitBTC. Jeez, I wonder why it's not doing anything. Most of these are no-name exchanges. I wonder what'll happen when it goes on the exchanges though. Or, or like a Bittrex or a Binance. Um, let's see what's going on. Yeah, it is weird. This is I did post at twenty five cents and now it peeled back. That was weird. Let me see. Is this thing gonna go or what? Eighteen cents. I don't know. It's only got a five million dollar market cap. I mean that that's got a lot of room to grow. And if it goes, it's not because of me. It was already kind of going. That's why people were getting involved in it. How do you think so many people... Here, I'll show you guys just so you know how many people were talking about it, telling me to talk to Twitter, uh, 
post about it. Um, hmm. Blue. Oh, Lend. Lend coin. Let me see. Oh, I have to go up here. Was it on here or another one? So, Deep Brain, Blue. We already talked about Blue. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, Koreans. Maybe it was... Let's see here. Maybe it was this one. There was definitely a lot of people talking about... Oh, Pump Social Sin. See, there was that guy. There was... So I was just answering questions in my last video, or two videos ago. You guys can watch that video to see how it all unfolded. It had nothing to do with a pump, or like a conspiracy that people are throwing around false accusations which I already knew was going to happen at some point because that's just what people do here here's another one Jay Boogs he was the one guys look into send yeah okay <laughs> so I guess if it's up to our old buddy here I won't I won't go through here and answer any tweets for anybody because if I do that then I'm uh I'm pumping things with our community. Jeez Louise. The things people will say and whoa, here goes social sin. Yeah. Look at sin. Looks like it's about to spike. See? So I have a bunch of people who are into it, obviously, and they want me to talk about it. So I'm providing a service for our community. That's what I'm here to do, guys, is work with you guys. But I guess everyone's talking about CLX, but if I make a video and it goes up, then uh, let's see what's going on with this. I mean, how much is it up? Steve made this video, by the way. Wow, that thing is up, man. That thing is up. When it's, what it, let's take a look at what Steve said. So that was CLX, right? It is. All right. So Steve had this thing at. So 10 million. All right. So that was at a nine, $9 million market cap. And now it's sitting at $25 million market cap. So when state Steve made the video, that's where it was at. That's what I'm saying. Like with Sencoin, I mean, currently sitting at. A five million dollar market cap. If it goes to twenty five um, million dollars, I mean this thing's going to be up there towards a dollar. I don't know if it'll go, and I don't have any. I, I'm talking. I mean, it, it, if you're if I talk and people check out the, I mean check it out yourselves, guys. You have to do your own due diligence. This is not financial advice. This is not professional financial advice. All right, so. If you guys are um, looking for opinions, you can follow Allcoin Buzz because we'll give you opinions, and that's about it. That's about the uh, extent of what it is. I'm, I'm not forcing you guys to do anything, and like I said earlier, um, I'd like to think none of you guys are baby boys. I'm not a baby boy. What I mean by that is, <laughs> if I make a decision and then I regret it, I mean, well, that was my decision, right? If I, if I choose to buy. Um, Great bubble gum, and I don't like the way the great bubble gum tastes. I should have got green apple. Well, I have to, you know, I have to live with that. Maybe I have to go back over to the store and get some uh, great bubble gum or uh, some green apple bubble gum to replace the great bubble gum that uh, I thought didn't taste like grape. You know, I'm like, so if you take out a position on social send, that's your choice, not my choice. Okay, if I take out a position and it goes down, that was my choice. That's all. So, let's see here. Yes, it did go down after I posted this. I will say that. I mean, 
that was kind of I thought I thought to myself what is going on with that <laughs> I was like really I just post that and the next thing I know it goes down like how how lame is that let me see uh, it's going back up again see fair weather fans if Aaron Rodgers is throwing touchdowns and winning Super Bowls you guys are like MVP MVP Aaron Rodgers uh he's limping and th throws for 220 yards and three interceptions and one touchdown and you're like bench him bench him just funny <laughs> I'm the same way though. I'm the same way. Doesn't matter. You guys still haven't even asked me who my favorite football team is. But it's all good. You'll ask me at some point, I'll tell you. And uh who do you who do you guys think is gonna win the Super Bowl, by the way? And I'm not kidding. Who's your Super Bowl projections? Who's gonna make it to the Super Bowl and who's gonna win it? Alright guys, this is Jeff with Alcoin Buzz. Follow us on Twitter, Alcoin Buzz IO. Stay in the loop. Follow us on Instagram, Altcoin Buzz. And uh, let's take a look one more time. C O L X. Where can you pick up C O L X? Uh, Trade Satoshi and Coins Markets. All right. Anyways, guys, see y'all later. <laughs>